everyone, how's it going? Uh, this is our third installment of our uh, sort of overview videos for the disaster response plan template that we've put together here at the State Library of Iowa. Uh, today we are going to be talking about facilities and supplies. Uh, so again, we're starting up here in this table of contents. Uh, you know by now, I think, how to update this table as you're filling in this information. Uh, you click update table. Uh, update entire table and then OK and as you add information in uh, these page numbers and section headings will change as you need to. But uh, let's scroll down here to page number nine and start with the facilities. So um, this is going to be kind of a fun week because you get to go touring all over your library and I challenge you to not get distracted. Uh, by cleaning up the storeroom while you're down there, but uh, just grab the information you need and keep moving. So um, a floor plan is going to be helpful as we go through this. Um, you should be able to get something like that probably from your city uh, if you don't have something on file, but always a good idea to have a clear copy of your floor plan handy um, with the information labeled here and include a copy of this with your plan. Uh, so that you can hand it to a first responder or anybody else who knows exactly where these, um, where these very needed items are in your plan. So um, the other thing you want to do as you go on your tour of your facility is include photographs uh, or videos potentially if you have um, a YouTube channel or some way to save and store those videos of where all of these different shutoffs are. Uh, again, helpful uh, information to be able to hand to a first responder in case of an emergency or um, for a staff member or volunteer who might be working uh, to be able to know where to shut these things off if they encounter any issue in your library uh, when the director or disaster response team leader aren't there. So um, again, you've got uh, the main water shutoff valve, sprinkler shutoffs, electrical, gas, and heating and cooling. Um, easy to drop a picture in here, right here in this table if you need to, use words and photos to describe um, and have clearly labeled in the location itself. Uh, as we scroll on down here, there's a few more facilities related items, a list of fire extinguishers and other fire suppression um, equipment. Um, we also have information here about alarms, uh, whether uh, these are like sort of fire alarms, you know, the pull down the lever kind of thing, or a sort of more traditional smoke or heat detector, you're going to want to note all of that. Um, and again, this is not a bad time to check batteries on these things if they are battery operated um, and make a note to do that uh, regularly as well. The last couple security items here um, related to your facility, if you have an alarm system, uh, make sure information about that is clearly noted here. Um, the keys and key boxes also very important so that in case your disaster response team leader is unavailable, this information is available to other first responders who may need to access all parts of the building. Um, you'll want to include the name of the person who has these keys, their title, and then which areas of the building uh, they have keys to. If you have a key box located somewhere in the facility, uh, include that as well. Um, we heard a story from a librarian who said they had this information clearly noted in their disaster plan, which saved the first responders from actually breaking a window to go in to investigate what turned out to be a false alarm. So potentially by having a key box in a secure location or with another city department, uh, you can save yourself a lot of headache down the road by having to replace a door or window or something if a first responder should need emergency access to that part of your building. Um, first aid kits and defibrillators. Um, again, photographs of where these are located so they can be found quickly or in case of emergency. All right, the supplies list here I'm really excited about. Um, of course, you can have go two ways with this. Like on the one hand, really useful to have all your supplies in one ready to go spot um, that you can quickly grab them in case of an emergency. Um, but on the other hand, we know that a lot of the libraries in Iowa are extremely small and storage space, whatever size library you are in, is always such a premium. So I recommend looking through this list and kind of trying to determine what is going to be a sort of core group of supplies for your library and keeping those in a waterproof tote. Um, but also knowing where you can find more of each of them will be helpful. 
down the road and in, and it also be thinking through if I run out of this in the case of an emergency do I know where to find more um, do I know which person uh, can can purchase more for me if we were to run out so some of these things may be more relevant to you than others um, some are obviously going to be easier to find and store than others um, this is just a guideline so you can take it or leave it as you will um, some of the stuff, especially under the collection salvage, might not be as high of a priority to keep um, unless you want to have a small amount on hand to um, treat or salvage things like from a local history collection or some such. Um, otherwise, mostly be prepared to call I'm Alert uh, with these salvage questions and they also can hook you up perhaps with other local suppliers of some of these um, tools that you would need to salvage, including freezers potentially. Um, the record keeping and communication supplies, you don't always think about, um, you know, if you need to document damage but you have no electricity and phones are um, dead or dying, having a disposable camera will be helpful. Um, trying to keep things charged as, excuse me, trying to keep um, things charged without electricity, always difficult. And that also would apply to um, things like radios. So there's our uh, supply list and our facilities. Um, thanks for watching. Next week we'll have our next video. We'll go more in depth on the last couple sections of the plan.